Hello my friend Indel Tulving. Glad you could make it for a coffee. Why hello again the old Michael Fergus Craig. How's it hanging? I need your help. You know how my model of memory is so much better than that multi-store one by Atkinson and Schifrin? Yes I love the levels of processing model you wrote with Rob Lockhart. It makes a lot of sense. I need evidence to back it up. All there is so far is the Hyde and Jenkins experiment from last year. I'd like us to work on a new experiment together. It would be fairly easy. I'd love to help but I'm in the middle of something of my own at the moment. I've just come up with my very own principle to explain Q-dependency. Yes I heard of that, Tulving's encoding specificity principle. It states that the greater the similarity between the encoding event and... Yes yes that's it. I'm a bit sick of hearing it to be honest. Come and have a break from your forgetting theory work. Join me on my levels of processing study. Oh okay what do you want me to do? I have a new to chest telescope and I'm not afraid to use it. Great. Well if we're using words we can use three types of processing, structural, phonetic and semantic. I'm not sure which experimental design we should use. Definitely repeated measures design. It's much better as there are no participant variables such as memory ability. And you'll need fewer people, maybe about 20. I have 24 participants lined up. I agree that repeated measures would be best. We'll just have to consider the possible order effects, but I guess we can deal with them. No problem. Just randomize the order of the questions so that one level of processing doesn't come before another level. Okay, I'll get the words and questions together. Shall we do recall like Hyde and Jenkins or try recognition? Then we can have a grid with loads of words hiding the originals. Ah, oh, I like your thinking, Craig. Make it difficult, have 20 words at each level so that's 60. Then put them with 120 similar words and see which ones they pick out. The percentage of words recognized will be our dependent variable. If only we had an objective measure of depth. We're assuming that semantic processing is deeper as it's more elaborate. If only brain scans had been invented. Maybe in 20 years time we'll be able to repeat the study whilst brain scanning our participants. That would be so cool. You're getting ahead of yourself there Craig. It's a lovely idea but you haven't even got your results yet. I assume you'll reject the null hypothesis though. Well say we get results like 17% for structural, 36% for phonetic and 65% for semantic processing. Then I'll run the scores through a stats test and it's bound to be significant. I tell you what, if we get those results, we'll be famous. This could become a cognitive key study. I'm very confident that we'll get significant results which support the levels of processing model. It's a well-planned study and we can have standardized procedures. Sure thing. I think the only thing we could be criticized for is ecological validity as we're only using words. We all use words in memory research though, right? Gotta start somewhere. If we get similar results to Hyde and Jenkins then at least this study will be reliable. And we'll control lots of extraneous variables which helps the validity. Yes the only difference between the conditions will be the level of processing used. Everything else will be the same, word length, time for each question. I think it's a marvelous plan. When can we start? Well let's just finish our coffees and get back to my university. I'm so glad you're on board with this, Tulving. My friend, it will be a pleasure to collaborate with you.